Controversies on YouTube go hand in hand with one another. Some would say that controversies on YouTube is like butter on toast, or peeing before you poop. What I'm trying to say is, you can't have YouTube without someone being in the midst of controversy. Whether it's someone stealing their fans' money, or someone who's grooming an underage subscriber, it's just very common nowadays. But that doesn't mean that controversy didn't exist when YouTube started. It just means that people weren't held accountable for their actions in the early days of YouTube. A prime example of this is no other than Shane Dawson. As I go more into the video, I'll discuss everything and it'll all wrap together and make sense. But let's set the stage to January of 2018. On January 10th of 2018, a YouTube channel centered around pop culture and celebrity media would make a video titled, Shane Dawson is a pedophile. Here's the proof. The video wouldn't gain millions of views, but it would be enough to start a wildfire in the land of social media. Within the video, it takes uncomfortable and out of context jokes and snippets from Shane Dawson's podcast and tries to use it as proof that Shane Dawson's a pedophile. Along with this, it also shows that Shane Dawson's boyfriend and ex-girlfriend have, quote unquote, baby faces which apparently means he's a pedophile. Uh, the clip that would get Shane Dawson into controversy though is right here. This child was probably six years old and um, I was taking a picture of something and the kid turns to me and goes, oh, are you Instagramming? And first of all, how does a five-year-old, six-year-old know what Instagram is? Right. Which is terrifying. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I was embarrassed because yes, I was and it was a picture of my salad. <laughs> and the six-year-old girl goes, um, oh, how many followers do you have? I have 125,000. No. Her dick was almost as big as mine. Really? And I said, okay, little big dick, why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh, really? And she shows me her Instagrams, which are like, first of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like sexy. She's like sexy. You're disgusting. I know. Listen, we talked about pedophilia no, no, this before. Is like, Shane, like, like, do not say this. And, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you will get arrested. Like, he kind of can, listen, he, he has a justification, justification for pedophilia, okay. and it's so disturbing. And like, I, I just pretend that he doesn't. <laughs> okay, and, no, like, no, let me explain. Let no. me explain. Oh, God. Here's my justification for pedophilia. I can't. Here's my thing. People have foot fetishes. People have fetishes about, you know, everything. Fine, everybody do your thing. So why is it when somebody looks at a, Google's like naked baby on Google and jerks off to it, they can get arrested? Because, I don't understand because. That. because Here's so the like, worst part of it. I actually went to Google and I'm like, oh I don't want to see. You can I don't want to it. I know, but I just wanted to see like, okay, let me just pretend. Let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a sec. So I typed in naked baby. First of all, they were sexy. <laughs> okay, back to the Instagram. Um, so I look at this little girl's pictures and she had makeup on. She had her tongue out. She was doing like the peace sign. She was doing a backflip. Is she like honey boo boo? Is she fat? No, she was like a skinny little sexy six year old. While the jokes are terrible and borderline weird, Shane Dawson would make a response video the day after Pop Blast made their infamous exposing video. I am sorry that I used to make really shitty fucking jokes. I am sorry that I was so fucking like insecure and like playing this character of this guy who's like crazy and will say anything and like tries to make people laugh by shocking them. That was my thing. That was what I did on YouTube. I'll to put it short, Shane Dawson's response video would be met with praise and forgiveness and virality, while Pop Blast would fade away into obscurity, with most people forgetting about the situation altogether. What most people don't remember though, is what happened to the Pop Blast YouTube channel. Just days after the exposing video of Shane Dawson, Pop Blast would upload a video titled Receipts. Inside the video shows a bank transaction in which Pop Blast is receiving $6,500 from someone named Jeffrey Oscar Levin. The video is pretty unsettling and it also contains a voice that reads a binary code. 101, to start off, the binary code would translate to they are distracting you, something we'll come back to later. As for who Jeffrey Oscar Levin is, this person is most likely in reference to Logan Paul's manager. Let's also keep that in mind, it'll all start connecting uh, momentarily. The second upload Pop Blast would make is a video called Apology. This video has binary text on the screen which translates to, I returned the money, it was not worth it, I'm sorry. Another video that Pop Blast would make is titled, They Made Me Do It. And the voice in the background would translate to Hollywood, and the image shown on screen says, As you know, his comments have caused another expedient uproar in the general public. 
Make a video around 4-7 to seven minutes long and use the following footage we have collected of Shane Dawson to label him as a pedophile. The rest of Pop Blast uploads would be unrelated to the Shane Dawson situation, but the other videos would still be creepy in their own right. Just hours after the spontaneous uploading spree from Pop Blast, YouTube would terminate the Pop Blast YouTube channel, and that would be the last time it would ever exist. And going back to the information from the three videos that showed receipts and binary codes, we can create a conspiracy that's very on the nose. To start with, I'm sure everyone can remember the Logan Paul Suicide Forest event in December of 2017. If you're not familiar with this, Logan Paul essentially went to the suicide forest in Japan and ended up filming a dead body for his vlog and uploaded it to his YouTube channel. As you'd expect from such a controversial event, Logan Paul's backlash would continue into 2018. In the third video titled, They Made Me Do It, it shows an email that sets up a plan to distract the public from an unnamed individual to Shane Dawson being an alleged pedophile. In the first video called Receipts, it shows Logan Paul's manager, Jeffrey Oscar Levin, sending a $6,500 deposit to Pop Blast bank account. With the information given from these two videos alone, we can connect the dots that Logan Paul's manager allegedly paid Pop Blast to distract Logan Paul's backlash to Shane Dawson being a pedophile. Not only this, but the two voices in the videos translated to Hollywood and they are distracting you. If you also remember from earlier, the second strange video Pop Blast uploaded had the phrase, I returned the money, it was not worth it, I'm sorry. As for the conspiracies, this is as far as it went. While it may be underwhelming that everything ends here, it's still an interesting moment in YouTube history. As for what I think happened, I personally think that Pop Blast was a poorly made ARG. If Pop Blast were really in this situation, I don't think the creepy and scary unsettling videos uh, would be necessary to upload. And I think that's all you really need to know that Pop Blast made everything up. Nothing really proved that Pop Blast was paid to do anything other than the proof in their own videos. Regarding the Shane Dawson exposing video, I believe it was all a part of a big plan for Pop Blast to go out in YouTube infamy. What I mean by this is Pop Blast's already irrelevant YouTube channel wasn't going anywhere, and around this time was Logan Paul's suicide forest controversy. Whoever ran the Pop Blast YouTube account saw an opportunity to retire the channel by creating a strange series of videos, with the Shane Dawson video causing more damage than Pop Blast probably expected. In the end, Shane Dawson would be met with forgiveness of his terrible jokes, while Pop Blast is, as we all know now, gone. I would end the video here, but it's been over 4 years since everything's gone down. In the span of then and now, Shane Dawson has been outed for being a pedophile and animal rapist on numerous of accounts since then. Because of this, many people who still remember Pop Blast started thinking, hmm, maybe Shane Dawson was a pedophile. It's just a funny thought. Uh, anyway, I hope this video was enjoyable. Check out my past and future content and be sure to comment something in the comment section. I heart every comment I get. Only 2,000 subscribers but I love y'all. That's 2,700 more than I once had.